not much of a cheese shop, really, is it? Finest in the district, sir. And what leads you to that conclusion? Well, it's so clean. Well, it's certainly uncontaminated by cheese. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Monty Python. This one is highly requested. This is the cheese shop. <laughs> the cheese shop. The cheese. I don't know why. Maybe because my name is Eddie Chee. And people think it's Eddie Cheese. But actually, no, Eddie Cheese is Eddie Chee. Uh, so, yeah, let's check out the cheese shop. <laughs> Monty Python. Let's go. Morning. Um, I was uh, sitting in the public library of Sermon Street just now, uh, skimming through Rogue Herries by uh, Horace Walpole, when I um, suddenly came over all peckish. Peckish, eh? Isuriant. Eh? He have an all hungry like. Ah, hungry. In a nutshell. <laughs> so I thought to myself, a little fermented curd will do the trick. Wait, he didn't get the fact that it was peckish. It was hungry. When he goes, mm -hmm, hungry like. Hungry <laughs> again, Monty Python again. You guys are told just don't think too deep, it just enjoy it, enjoy the moment, don't overthink it. Let's go. <laughs> so, I curtailed my wall polling activities, sallied forth, and infiltrated your place of purveyance to negotiate the vending of some cheesy comestibles. <laughs> Come again, I want to buy some cheese. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were complaining about the music. Oh, heaven forbid, I'm one who delights in all manifestations of the Terpsichorean muse. Sorry? I like a nice dance, you forced to. Anyway, who said that? Now, my good man, some cheese, please. Yes, certainly, sir. What would you like? Well, uh, how about a little Red Leicester? I'm afraid we're fresh out of Red Leicester, sir. Never mind. How are you on uh, Tilsit? Never at the end of the week, sir. Always get it fresh first thing on Monday. Tish, tish. No matter. Um, well, four ounces of kefili then, if you please, stout yeoman. Ah, well, it's been on order for two weeks, sir. I was expecting it this morning. Yes, it's not my day, is it? Ah, uh, Bell Paese? Sorry. Red Windsor? Uh, normally, sir, yes. But today the van broke down. Ah. Uh, Stilton? Sorry. Gruyere, Emmental? No. In a Norwegian Jarlsberger? No. Liptar? No. Lancashire? I think they know there was this more cheese. I just have some mozzarella, some you know, some mozzarella on my toast and baked beans. I have that every single day. Let me know if you guys do that as well. That's my breakfast: toast, baked beans, and cheese on top of it. Oh god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. My girlfriend introduced me to it like two years ago, and I fell in love with it. Let me know any other quirky food you guys eat. I think that's very quirky. Not a lot of people eat it, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Some people think it's disgusting, but it's actually not. And some Branston beans. I used to have some Heinz beans, but now I take Branston. I'm telling you guys too much, but you guys are family, so yeah. Let's go. No. White Stilton? No. Danish Blue? No. Double Gloucester? No. Cheshire? No. And a Dorset Blue Vinny? No. Brie, Roquefort, no. Pont Levesque, Port Salut, Savoyard, Saint Paul, Carré de l'Est, Boursin, Brest Bleu, Pelle de Champagne, Camembert. Ah, oh, we do have some Camembert. You do? Excellent. It's a bit runny, sir. Oh, I, I, I like it runny. Well, as a matter of fact, it's, it's very runny, sir. No matter, no matter. Hand over la fromage de la belle France qui s'appelle Camembert, s'il vous plaît. I think it's runnier than you like it, sir. I don't care how excrementally runny it is. Hand it over with all speed. Yes, sir. Oh! What? The cat's eating it. <laughs> Has he? She, sir. Gouda? No. Edam? No. Caithness? No. Smoked Austrian? No. Sage Derby? No, sir. You do have some cheese, do you? Oh, certainly, sir. It's a cheese shop, sir. We've got... No, 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 no. No, don't tell me. I'm, uh, I'm keen to guess. Fair enough. <laughs> Winsleydale? Yes, sir. Splendid. Well, I'll have some of that then, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were referring to me. Mr. Winsleydale. <laughs> Gorgonzola? No. Parmesan? No. Mozzarella? No. Uh, Pippo cream? No. Any Danish finbo? No. Czechoslovakian sheep's milk cheese? No. Uh, Venezuelan beaver cheese? Not today, sir, no. Well, let's keep it simple. Um, how about cheddar? 
Well, I'm afraid we don't get much call for it around these parts, sir. It's quite the single most popular cheese in the world. Not around these parts, sir. <laughs> and pray, what is the most popular cheese around these parts? Ilchester, sir. I see. Yes, sir, it's quite staggeringly popular in the manor, squire. Is it? Yes, sir, it's our number one seller. Is it? Yes, sir. Ilchester, eh? Right. OK, I'm game. Have you got any, he asked, expecting the answer no. I'll have a look, sir. Mm, no. It's not much of a cheese shop, really, is it? Minus in the district, sir. And what leads you to that conclusion? Well, it's so clean. Well, it's certainly uncontaminated by cheese. <laughs> you haven't asked me about Limburger, sir. Is it worth it? Could be. Okay. Have you got... Will you shut that bloody dancing up? I told you so. <clears throat> Have you got any Limburger? No. No, that figures. No, it's pretty predictable, really. It was an act of pure optimism to pose the question in the first place. Uh, tell me something. Do you have any cheese at all? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to ask you that question once more. And if you say no, I'm going to shoot you through the head. Now, do you have any cheese at all? No. What a senseless waste of human life. Oh, God. Oh. Just wasted his time. What kind of cheese shop? To be fair, I never knew there was that much cheese, you know. The only cheese I heard it that kind of sprang to mind. Parmesan, your mozzarella, your... I can't think now. That, that's because I don't really. Uh, why use cheese for just you know maybe when I'm putting on my pasta or my baked beans? I don't. Really, apart from that, what do you do? You put cheese in your your tea? No, obviously not. Don't do that. That's disgusting. Do not do that. If you, can, I'm sure someone does that. I'm sure someone does that. But yeah, uh, monkey, monkey, Monty Python is just brilliant. I just don't. I don't overthink it. Once I find something funny, I just laugh. I don't think too much, too deep into it. Let me know if this has some back mini. I'm sure it probably doesn't, but it might. Comment down below. Subscribe. Let me know what multi-python you want me to check out next. And I would love to try it. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.